Alibaba, the multinational company popularly known for its online commerce, just recently launched its own artificial intelligence, Emo AI. Amongst other things, Alibaba's launch of an AI tool goes to show that the field of artificial intelligence has become sort of a free-for-all with everyone, from multinational companies to private individuals trying their hands at building one. In Alibaba's case, or more specifically, the Institute of Intelligent Computing, they've decided to go the route of audio-driven portrait video generation. I'll explain. Emo AI is actually officially named Emote Portrait Alive, which immediately gives you an idea of what it's about. It isn't your typical artificial intelligence in that it isn't looking to change the world or anything. No, Emo takes on a different approach, focusing instead on bringing pictures to life. And while some might not think it's important, others who would enjoy seeing long gone family members come to life in some way, for instance, have been excited about this innovation. With Emo, you can transform static portraits into expressive talking videos, complete with realistic facial animations that match the emotions conveyed in the audio you provide. As a result, you don't need fancy 3D models or hours of footage to animate still pictures. Just provide Emo with a single portrait image and an audio clip, speech, singing, whatever, and it will generate a video of the subject in the portrait, speaking or singing with natural facial movements that align with the audio. As a quick aside, Alibaba's Emo should not be confused with Living AI's Emo. While they have the same name for some reason, they are completely different AI models. Alibaba's Emo is the picture animating model that we're talking about in this video, while Living AI's Emo is basically an AI pet. We might need to cover that in a different video, but for now, back to this one. To go a bit technical, the Emo model was taught to do what it does by being fed a substantial amount of video and audio datasets in a variety of languages. These datasets form the reference points for achieving the emotions that it does. Emo doesn't use 3D models thanks to its diffusion-based approach. With a combination of a reference attention mechanism and an audio attention mechanism, Emo is able to make pictures talk or sing without losing the facial characteristics of the picture. Now, it has to be mentioned that Emo AI, which is built on a stable diffusion backbone, is not the first of its kind. There are many other models that try to do something similar, but none of them has been as good as Emo. The videos that we have seen so far have been really impressive, especially when you consider the quality of the videos, the syncing of the audio, and the facial expressions. Unsurprisingly, one of the portraits that was used to demonstrate Emo's abilities was the Mona Lisa. And I say unsurprisingly because when you have a chance to animate a still picture, Mona Lisa tends to be people's go-to option. Something else that was unsurprising is that it wasn't the original Mona Lisa that was used, but the Dream Shaper generated one. The interesting lady was made to sing a cover of Miley Cyrus's Flowers, and while it was kind of uncanny, the lip sync was also quite impressive. Now, this is quite interesting, especially if you've watched other videos on this channel. Alibaba actually borrowed a Soro generated image from one of its demos. The borrowed image was that of a woman wearing sunglasses and she was made to sing Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. Again, the lip sync seemed really impressive, but people seem to be more preoccupied with the possibility that this might have been Alibaba's way of one-upping AI, showing that they could create something that doesn't just animate images, but basically makes them talk. Whatever the case, Emo's use of a Sora-generated image goes to show that Emo is not restricted to man-made pictures. It can also animate and enliven pictures that were generated by AI. We also know that AI can work with a variety of artistic styles, from photographs to paintings, and even anime-style cartoons, because the demo videos were decently varied. Now, one of the biggest standouts with Emo is its lip-syncing ability. Sure, the videos are not exactly perfect, and you could sometimes tell that the audio is not perfectly synced, but compared to other AI tools of its kind, Emo actually does a good job to make the audio look natural, at least going off of the videos that we've seen so far. One of the demo videos was a guy singing an Eminem song, and the lip sync was still quite impressive. Those who have listened to Eminem know how difficult it can be to lip sync his songs, let alone getting a still picture to do that. So big thumbs up to Emo AI for this one. Speaking of, the audio that you feed to Emo doesn't have to be authentic either. Emo can work with any kind of audio, whether man-made or AI-generated, same as the pictures you feed it with. 
Also, Emo is multilingual, which is great if Alibaba plans to market it worldwide, so Emo can get your pictures to lip sync to audio spoken in a variety of languages. The demo videos show Emo producing videos in Mandarin, Japanese, Cantonese, Korean, and English. It's possible that the model can do a lot more languages, but so far, those are the languages that we know for sure. Considering that Alibaba is a Chinese company, it makes sense that they demo two Chinese languages. That said, the magic that Emo works on those images is actually quite decent. It can generate a variety of facial expressions that match and reflect the emotions conveyed in the audio. So there's an understanding of what's being said in the audio, and then a replication of the emotions on the moving faces of the still pictures. This just adds an extra layer of realism and engagement to the final video. To be clear, Emo does not riff off the original videos attached to the audio. It completes completely new facial expressions based on its understanding of what is said in the audio. For instance, one of the demo videos shows Audrey Hepburn speaking the audio from a viral clip of Riverdale's Lily Reinhardt talking about how much she loves crying. Putting these two videos side by side, you would notice some considerable differences. Reinhardt moves a lot more than Hepburn does. Hepburn's head and shoulders don't move so much, but her face does. And that's because Emo AI did not just steal Reinhardt's facial expressions. That said, the differences between the two videos might be due in some part to the fact that Emo is still under development. Hepburn is not the only one whose shoulders and head don't move much. All the videos have impressive facial expressions, but as humans, we tend to talk with more than just our faces. So if we want Emo's videos to look as realistic as possible, the Institute for Intelligent Computing would have to do some more work with the shoulders and head. Something else that needs to be pointed out is the fact that the demo videos we've seen so far haven't been anything wild as far as emotions go. That is, Emo has not had to show someone melt down in tears or be extremely excited. The videos have only shown mild excitement or whatever emotion you have when you rap really fast. So there's no way to know for sure just how good the tool is at extreme emotions. Still, there's no denying the fact that Emo does what it does well. The demos might not have shown complex emotions, but the simple emotions that we saw were quite on point. Plus, Emo was intelligent enough to not only emote the pictures when they were speaking, but even when they were taking natural pauses. Add some of that realism that AI-generated videos tend to need. It should also be mentioned that we don't know for sure the maximum length of animation that Emo can create. The demo videos show a maximum length of about two minutes, but that could just be because people are yet to feed Emo with longer videos. However, two minutes plus lip sync is actually quite decent, especially considering that a model like Sora that only does animation without audio has a maximum length of one minute. That said, so far Emo looks easy enough to use, which is great if Alibaba plans to make the AI model commonplace. From all indications, you don't need to be a tech whiz to use Emo because the entire process is user-friendly, so you can create as many expressive videos as you want with minimal technical knowledge. Now, while creating fun and engaging videos is a great use for Emo, its applications can extend far beyond entertainment if we want them to. For instance, Emo would really come in handy in education, especially for history lessons. Think how cool it would be to have founding fathers and the like come alive with emo animated portraits. This would probably hit harder than having actors do remakes. Of course, content creators could also find emo really useful. Emo actually opens doors for new forms of digital art creation, allowing artists to breathe life into their portraits and characters without spending hours trying to animate. Sure, for where emo is right now, the animation is not completely seamless, but two things. One, artists could just use this tool to get an idea of what their creation would look like fully animated. Two, Emo is still largely under development anyway. Who knows how crazy it would go once development is complete. What's more, an AI model like Emo could actually come in handy for character portrayal in multicultural contexts. For instance, movie editors could use Emo to sync dubbings with the actual film footage so that the lip movements match what the dubber is saying. This could actually make it easier to watch foreign movies. Altogether, Emo AI seems like an interesting piece of AI technology with plenty of uses in the real world, but for the regular person, it would be a good way to bring a dead family member or a friend back to life. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos.